Hi, I am Wen Ling, an occupational therapist from the National University Hospital. In this video, I will be sharing some post-trigger finger release surgery care advice. After your trigger finger surgery, your fingers and hand may be swollen and you will have difficulty moving your fingers initially. You may also feel numbness or tingling sensation around the surgical wound on your palm. This post-surgery discomfort typically resolves after several weeks. To facilitate the recovery process, you are encouraged to do light hand exercises and involve your hand and affected finger in light tasks. Before your wound heals, please avoid heavy lifting, tight gripping or passively stretching your finger until the wound heals. In this video, I will briefly advise on how you can reduce swelling and demonstrate the light exercises that can help improve motion. You can follow this video to start taking care of your hand after the surgery. Your surgeon may refer you to attend hand occupational therapy sessions so that we can guide you through on how you can better manage the pain, swelling and stiffness you will experience while recovering from your surgery. If you can do your job without using the affected hand, you may return to work one or two days after surgery. But if your job requires significant hand use or exposure to water on contaminants, you will need to take time off work. Right after the surgery, your wound care nurse will advise you on how to care for your wound. Your hand will be wrapped in a bulky dressing. It should be kept clean and dry at all times. Protect your wound from any injury. Showering is allowed after your surgery unless your doctor or nurse advise otherwise. For the first few days during your shower, you should cover your hand using a plastic bag and secure it with tape. Remember not to swim or use a hot tub for at least two weeks after the surgery. For patients whose surgeon has chosen to use non-absorbable stitches, you will be given an outpatient or clinic appointment to remove your stitches, usually two weeks after surgery. For two to three days after the surgery, whenever you are seated, lift your hand and keep it elevated above your heart to reduce swelling and discomfort. When you sleep, it is good to have your hand above your elbow. You can do this by placing your hand and elbow on a few pillows stacked together. For pain management, do take your prescribed pain medicine as advised by your doctor. Here are some finger exercises that you can start to do right after the surgery. For the first two weeks after the surgery, you should move the two joints in your affected finger one by one. Using the other hand, support the affected finger beneath the first joint. Slowly bend and straighten the first joint while keeping the second joint straight. Next, support the finger beneath the second joint. Keep the first joint straight. Slowly bend and straighten the second joint. Do 10 repetitions. Next, gently make a hook with your fingers while keeping your knuckles straight. Try to get the tip of your finger as close to the base of your finger as possible without bending your knuckles. Hold there for 5 seconds before bending your knuckles to make a full fist. Do this for 10 repetitions. Do these two exercises 3-4 to four times a day. After a surgery, the wound heals naturally by forming scars. Scar tissue can become a problem if it limits motion and function or is painful with touch. Scar massage may help to reduce pain and improve flexibility. It should start 1-2 to two days after stitches are removed. Stitches are normally removed 2 weeks after your surgery. For patients whose surgeons have used the absorbable stitches, there will be no need for any removal of stitches after the surgery. 
use the pad of your finger or thumb to press deep into the scar tissue and massage in a circular motion along the scar. Do this for about 5 minutes, 3 times a day. It is normal to have some pain when you start scar massage initially. You should massage gently at the start and gradually apply more pressure as pain reduces. Next, using the other hand, slowly straighten the affected finger flat on the table and pull it backwards. Stop when the stretch is felt and hold the stretch for 10 seconds. Do it for 10 repetitions 3 times a day. Our wound care nurse will also advise you on what to do if you experience the following symptoms after the trigger finger release surgery. You should seek medical attention immediately if you develop the following. Fever of greater than 38 degrees Celsius. New or different coloured discharge as seen by the staining on the plaster or bandage. Moderate to extreme pain at the surgical wound. Chest pain or shortness of breath. Rapid heartbeat. Lightheadedness. Dizziness. We hope this video has been useful to you. To find out more about post-trigger finger surgery care, do talk to your healthcare provider or visit the NUH website in the link below.